Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work with Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at AutoCAD 2016 and how to create viewports. In a drawing, I have some information in model space. I can click the tabs down here to switch to paper space. You can also use the old traditional command tile mode. And once you're in paper space, you can go through the process of creating viewports. To create viewports, we can either type in the command mText, which is the old command, or we can go to layout and in the layout tab of the ribbon you will see layout panel, layout viewports, create views, so on and so forth. Here you can sample a rectangular viewport where you click and drag and click and it creates the viewport. If you have a polygon or if you have an object you can create a viewport based upon that object. You can also do polygon. If I pick polygon I'm just creating you know, the shape that I want, hit enter and it creates it for you. If you already have a polygonal shape or some object like so and you want to turn that into a viewport, you can just click object, pick it, um, object, pick this object and it automatically turns that into a viewport. Now think about viewports as nothing more than a cutout in the sheet of paper where you can see through that cutout and look inside model space and see your data. Once you've created them, you want to go ahead and modify things like the property aspects of them. Um, let me erase these. I can select a viewport. I can right click and go to properties. And I can change the scale to whatever I want. Let's say, for example, it needs to be eighth of an inch. That sounds good. We can click and drag these dots to specify and reshape and resize uh, the viewport that we need. And we can move it into the correct position. Once we've given it the correct scale and the position, you'll want to make sure the annotation scale is matching because this day and age most people will use annotative objects, annotative scale capability within um, AutoCAD. We'll also want to lock the viewport as well so it doesn't get messed up. So when my mouse is uh, inside the viewport and I scroll my wheel, it doesn't mess up the viewport. Whereas if I'm out here, same thing. If the viewport is not locked, for example here, and I put my mouse inside the cursor and I scroll, I've lost the scale capability. Um, so let me head back over here. Let me head back to properties and go ahead and specify that locking. If I want to erase this, going back over to layout, I can also use named viewports. And in here I can specify any variation, for example, single, two vertical, so on and so forth. So let's say I pick three right and click in, in inside any one of these cells and make changes. For example, it could be 2D or 3D. It could be a front view, it could be a back view. It could be isometric. Um, the Visual style could be a different visual style for each one as well. And it's just a matter of what you want to specify and work with. When you're all said and done, you click OK and you pick the two opposing corners that will divide up, if you will, <clears throat> the viewports accordingly. And it builds it for you. That's it. That's how you work with the viewports. And lastly, if you need to delete one, you just select and hit delete, the delete key on your keyboard or type any race and hit enter. Uh, and that's it. That's a good quick um, screencast tutorial on viewports in AutoCAD 2016. Thank you very much for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.